Hey guys, this is Alex from Wilkinson Audio. I'm going to quickly show you how to set up the Debleter plugin. So I have a snare track here. So the bleed's not too bad on this, but uh, when you mix things, bleed tends to get worse. So I have um, some EQing boosting high end like you typically do on a snare. And then I also have uh, some heavy EQing, or have, sorry, heavy compression on there as well. And that sounds a lot more like the problem we're dealing with. So let's add Debleter in there. This is the VST3 version of it. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to addition the fundamental frequency of the drum. And we're going to hit the addition button to do that. And then we just want to find uh, the, yeah, the fundamental note of the drum where it's kind of resonating. Um, so that would work there. Uh, it's sometimes better to use higher up fundamentals if possible, like a harmonic of that. So usually double the frequency, there'll be some kind of um, build up there as well. So let's try and find that. So right there is probably good. We're going to click off the addition button and then we're going to set the range uh, all the way to the right, reduction all the way to the right, threshold all the way to the right, and release all the way to the left for the shortest release. And then we're just going to use this to set the threshold knob. Okay, and next we're going to set the release. Okay, and then we're gonna set the range knob. So I set this uh, all the way to the left now. And then we're just gonna push this up until it sounds like how we want it. I think our threshold's a little high. Um, I don't think it's catching our transients quite enough, so let's lower our threshold a little bit. And this is uh, quite a large amount of reduction, so let's just turn that down to about half. So now with the plug-in off. And here's the plug-in on. So that's basically how you set the plugin up there. Let's, um, there's another hidden knob here for the sensitivity to ghost notes of the plugin. And there's a couple, uh, what could be considered ghost notes here. Let's turn this up a little bit. And that sounds a little better, uh, just like that. So that's pretty much how you set the plugin up. You could probably tweak it a little bit from here and get it even better, but uh, I think that's a good overview. So uh, thanks for watching.